attributes of God is that he is a good shepherd, which basically means that he is a protector. Um, Jesus taught about a shepherd who had 100 sheep. One of the flock wandered off by itself. The sheep was lost. It had left the safety of the shepherd's flock. Um, the shepherd cares about all, the, all of the sheep. He decides to go after that sheep and save it because it went away. Lost sheep in the story may have wandered away from the shepherd, but shepherd is a good shepherd who loves and cares about his sheep, so he goes looking for it. Another shepherd might have counted the 99 and decided it wouldn't be worth his trouble and the time it would cost him to go after the one dumb sheep. But Jesus is not like that. He is a good shepherd who came to this world to give his life because he cares about us. The parable of the lost sheep inspires us all to come close to God without letting anything come in between us and him. I feel like God's best attribute is his love. Like, especially going past Easter. It just is so clear just how much he loves us and how much he's willing to do for us. And it makes it more obvious that his love for us is, um, what's it called? It inspires other things that he does for us. And like, I feel, feel like most of the other things that we uh, attribute to God, they're born out of the love that he has for us initially. And then if you strip it down, I feel like the love that he has for us is appealing to everybody because as humans, that's what we need love. And the love that he can give us is like nothing else. And sometimes when I hear about people turning to Christ, just simply about how in this world they feel like no one loves them, but just simply knowing that Jesus loves them, it completely changes the perspective. And yeah, I just find knowing that there's always someone that loves me, even when I, I don't love myself or um, I'm really down. I feel like that is so encouraging and uh, for me that's why it makes it very clear that it's probably his best attribute. I like to think of God as my hope. In Psalm 25 verse 5 it says, Guide me in your truth and teach me, my God, my Saviour, I trust you all day long. In this verse it really shows us how we should be trusting God all the time, all day long with the big things and the little things, because we know he will always provide and he's always there for us. A moment in my life where I put my trust in God and where God was my hope was when I was having a hard time in my old secondary school. I started praying that the situation would get better or that I'd be able to find a new school. At this point, I put all my trust in God, knowing he was my hope. And at the end, he delivered. He provided me with a new school, a better school, much more than I had asked for. Knowing that God always wants the best for us really comforts me because I know he's always there for us and I that I can always trust him. In Psalm 34 verse 8 it says, Examine and see how good the Lord is. Happy is the person who trusts him. In this verse and many others, on the theme of hope and trust, it talks about happiness and joy. Because when we trust in God, when we put our trust in God, all our worries go away. We start to worry less, we start to stress less, and it feels like a massive weight is being lifted off our shoulders. We feel relieved, and that causes a person to be joyful. Knowing that my God is always there for us, no matter what, brings me so much joy.